All right, so we're gonna start work on this mercury sable. Uh, we're about to take the hood off, so we just have a little bit more room. That's kind of, kind of low. Uh, we're pretty. We're 99% sure it's just the torque converter. Uh, there's two bolts that are right in here. Uh, we're gonna remove all this, and you'd be able to see them a lot easier. Uh, but you take those two bolts out, and if you don't have any hydraulic pressure, that basically lets you know that the torque converter is no good. As long as you have transmission fluid, uh, we check the transmission fluid and it's right where it needs to be. So we should have had a hydraulic pressure coming from there. All right, guys. So as we talked about in the previous video on our little sable here, um, we we're trying to figure out what was going on, if it was a transmission or a torque converter. And now that we have the airbox assembly and the battery and the battery tray out of the way, you can see these bolts a lot better, okay? There's just two bolts, one here and then one right there. You can get to it with a long extension, which we did before, but we did this for video purposes. Um, if you just unscrew these two bolts, start up the engine, and then see if you get any fluid coming out of these two bolts, or bolt holes, um, you know the torque converter is good and that most likely your issue is going to be the transmission or something else related to the transmission. In our case, we got no pressure coming out of here at idle, even revving it, putting it in gear, all sorts of things. So almost 100% that the torque converter or the, the pump inside of the torque converter is gone. So that's what we're working on now. We were going to try and just take the transmission and pull it away from the motor, leaving the motor intact but on the Sable slash Taurus of this generation, that's not really a thing as we figured out. The easiest way to do it is gonna to be to take everything out the bottom. And what that's gonna entitle is taking all your electrical bits, you know, pulling your, your harness back, taking off your hoses and stuff, coming over here, disconnecting your struts at the towers. And then if you come under here underneath, you'll see this whole basically engine support bracket thing. Anyways, you got some big body mount bolts at each corner of it. Um, and what you're gonna do is disconnect all the stuff up top that we talked about, and obviously your exhaust as well. And then <clears throat> you're gonna support this with, we're gonna try and use a pallet and a pallet jack, see if that works. Um, or just use some furniture dollies, lay them out underneath, lower your car down, bust your, um, body or your uh, mounts here loose and then lift the car off the top of it and then your whole nice neat package just rolls out from underneath the vehicle that's how they assemble them in the factory that's how we're going to go about it in this situation so uh, we'll keep you posted um, get some other videos up with some crucial parts and that's it for today